Hi everyone, this is Lisa from Canine Clips and this is Maya and Maya is a Shih Tzu and she's come in for her full groom today, get cleaned up and um, she is 14 years old about right now so she's uh, one of my senior dogs but still in really good shape so we are going to get her all cleaned up so she can see there as with common with the Shih Tzus they, the, fa the hair in the face likes to grow quite much, a lot and uh, impact on their vision so we'll get her all cleaned up so she can see a little bit better we're going to be doing a number seven on her today get her all nice and cleaned up we still have a little bit of summer left here and then it'll grow it nice for the winter when it gets quite a bit cooler here and then I'll be doing some longer cuts over the winter so that's when I tend to do more of the three-quarter inch length or scissor cuts uh, over the winter time just to give the dogs a little bit more fur and then they have their sweaters of course but we aren't out too much there are dogs that really like being out in that winter snow but It's the owners that have a hard time getting out there. <laughs> there you go. That's okay. So when I am holding, I'm making sure I'm holding onto the back of the jaw so I can still maneuver a little bit. But she can also <laughs> she can also move as she's demonstrating as well. And then when I need to move her, I can do that. But I'm not putting any pressure on the throat at all while I'm doing this. So I don't want to impact her breathing at all. So I can see her mouth is a little bit gummed up here. So I'll just take a little bit more off. Just so obviously it's uh, there might be some food. Just the way she's eating, she might be having some more softer food at this time. So I'm going to uh, trim it a little shorter where I notice that it's kind of gummy. As of course that is where the food is sticking to. So it'll prevent it from doing that in the future. So we'll do a shorter kind of rounded face on her. It's okay. Oh yeah, and her teeth are a little bit plaque build up on there so I'm just going to wait till she stops licking so her mouth might be a little bit sensitive and sore so you always just kind of go a little slower making sure you're watching out for that tongue okay There. there you go okay and there's her face and under her chin and stuff and around here i can use the number seven blade to get all that so i'm not going to worry too much i like to get nice and close in the ears with the scissors Just underneath that ear canal so I can come back and use the tweezers in there. The ears are very, they're quite healthy actually. Okay, so now I'm just going to 
plug out those ears. She doesn't have much hair in there, but there is a little bit. <laughs> she likes to move just enough. There we go. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. So just a little bit of hair in there. This one had a little bit of hair, but it also had a little bit of wax in there, if you can see. So um, once I've done the bath, I'll be putting an ear solution in there, and then that'll kind of loosen all that up as well. Um, but that, since there is a little bit in there, I'm actually going to put some in before the bath, and then I'll use some Q-tips after to kind of get anything that has loosened out as well. So we'll let that sit in there for a bit. Well, I do the rest here. Okay, so now we're going to do the feet. And their feet are quite full, as you can see. It's okay. She's got quite short legs. All right, my table is as high as it can go. So. And when their hair gets a little bit long like this, sometimes their feet get a little sensitive. And there is some matting inside the pads there. Move that up for you. All right, I'm gonna switch my scissors to my sharper scissors because I don't want to trim and trim and trim. My other ones are just starting to get dull. It's okay. It's okay. See, there's quite a bit of a mat in there. Let me get that out. That can make their feet a little bit sore when they're walking. So when I'm working in there, the foot's already sore. So they're a little bit sensitive to me, of course, getting in there. But once I get that out, that'll alleviate a little bit, and then their feet will slowly get more and more um, feel better for them so but that doesn't mean it's not gonna be a little bit of work for me but the key is just to keep on holding on and just take breaks if you need to but you need to continue on keep bringing the dog back but don't pull by the leg you always move the whole body at once because you don't want to put any pressure on that joint so right now while I'm holding her she is resisting and pulling but I'm not pulling her I'm just holding it in place because you don't want to cause any injury to that leg so I'll just kind of maneuver her around with, with her whole body and I don't want to tug on that leg Eventually they figure out what you're doing and they will relax, but um, you do have to keep going at your pace and not letting them, um, if they bite you or are resistant, you don't want to stop because that just reinforces that behavior for them to continue that and do it quicker. Okay, it's okay. 
Nächste Woche. Okay, baby. With her nails being a little long, her feet are a little sore. There you go. And again, you just gotta continue on. After giving them a break, but um, you not letting go lets them know that um, you're in control rather than them, hey? Okay, one foot done. Okay, we're gonna start on this back one now. Okay, you can see there's lots of hair under there as well. So again, that just makes the feet and pads a little sore. We'll get that all cleaned out. That's it. There you go. I know. So if you're interested in seeing more videos like this, I'd like you to subscribe to my channel. I do put out a new video every day of different dogs that I groom and different haircuts that I do on them. As the seasons change, uh, the haircuts do change as well. So I have a lot of variety in the, the lengths of cuts that I do and the types of cuts that I do on the br different breeds. So right now I'm looking to increase my subscribers. So I'd really appreciate it if you are interested and have been watching my videos to please subscribe to my channel and help me out. And I'll keep doing what I'm doing and put out lots of videos for you guys. And then just let me know if there's something specific you'd like to see. I can always um, do that as well for you guys. Just let me know. And... Uh, I'm enjoying what I'm doing, but if there's something I can improve on, just let me know. Okay, good girl. Other side. You gotta get the feet in there. Oop. There we go. Okay. Okay, half done there. We'll try to do this one here. Getting a little faster now because uh, usually that's what will happen if you keep doing what you're 
supposed to be doing, the dog will relax and won't try to resist as much because they know that you're the one in control. Um, at the beginning, they will resist quite a bit more, and that's normal with any dog. Not all do, but uh, they kind of are aware that this is what you're doing. And we'll just let you do it because they know that them resisting doesn't help you to stop. So even though they may not like it, of course, because you can see that her her front feet are a little bit more sensitive. She's not resisting as much. So let me dig in there a little bit more. But if you're just starting out as a dog groomer too, you gotta remember to take care of your hands and yourself because you will be sore even just from standing for extended period of times, but you are using a lot of those muscles in your hands that you haven't used. Uh, I do have some exercises that I do and I have the, the video as a review on my channel as well. Just a carpal tunnel review that I did. That's really helped me to keep working this long without any pain. I know. Hey. Hey. Come on. She's still going to pull. She's got to get back as far as she can. This last nail, and then I'll comb out her tail, and then she'll be ready for the tub. Okay. Yep. Hiding in there. There you go. Good girl. All right, we'll just comb out the tail. And stick tail. Okay, really. And I'll probably scissor cut a little bit in that bum area too, as I see there's some stuff sticking in there. That way I'll be able to do a little better clean. And then when I'm using the clippers in that area, I won't not catch anything as well. Okay. 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 There we go. I just want to get that stuff off, and then I'll be. Uh, using the number seven in there as well. So, all right, so she's all ready for the bath. So I'm just gonna take her over there. Come on, baby.
Get her all dried up. All right. Okay, get ready for the blow dry now. For the trim, so I'm going to start with the number seven blade.
Got some nice little speckles underneath here. Some new colors coming out. That's quite common with Shih Tzus. It'll grow out one color and then underneath will be another hiding. Yeah. I'm going to go back again with the number 10 in there just because there's so much loose skin and that'll clean up that area a little bit better from stuff from sticking to it. <laughs> it likes to push, pull back a little bit here. And I can see by me putting the solution in her ear, um, it's loosened up a little bit of the black wax, or I guess dark brown. I'll be able to clean that out a little bit better. For her. Just always remember when you're going under the armpits, you got to go really slow to making sure that you're only catching the fur because the skin is quite loose under there. And if there are mats, you do want to use that number 10 and then you're less likely to catch anything. When I do groom, I do use all split tooth. So all my seven and my five and three and three quarters are all split tooth. That way I'm able to get underneath everything a lot easier. And I do find it still gives me a nice clean cut. As I do go over them twice. But it's just nicer if the fur is really thick. Especially in that springtime when they're quite dirty. Because they've grown out over the winter. And they may be a little bit more matted. And it's a lot easier on the dogs because you're able to get underneath all the all the fur. Okay. 
in. Starting to see your little speckles now. Little black dots coming out. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to go a little bit up there again and then I'm going to use the number 10 now. Get all that area cleaned up. Okay to give them breaks, especially if they're pulling like that. I don't want to let her keep pulling. And just come from a different angle. Sometimes when they are a little bit overgrown, um, it is a little thicker in there and uh, the skin can get a little bit irritated and red, which it is a little bit for her. 
That's quite common when stuff is sticking in that area. And now that we get it all cleaned out, that should help. Check to see around our feet here. We got a little bit extra. The clippers can't get to. Just get those little pieces that Clipper can't get to because she's got such tiny, tiny legs there. And she's a little resistant, so I didn't want to get in there too much if she didn't like it. So, always good to finish up with the scissors if you have to. And there's a little bit of hair in her mouth. There we go. All right. I'm just going to give another quick blow dry to her body. See if anything poofs up there. And then I'll be able to give her another quick uh, trim with the clippers. And then we should all be done here, except for the ears. I'll clean them up. So then I'll just get the number seven clipper delayed again and just go over quickly with the body, see if there's anything that gets that I can clean up.
All right. All right, so I'm just going to clean up those ears. See if I can get some more of that wax out now that it's loosened up. And making sure I don't go into the ear canal very far. It's just kind of the outer edges. Just to kind of get that wax out. And then I'll put some more solution in there. Um, and then she'll continue to shake her head like she is. And uh, loosen that wax out for her herself which will help her i did notice this one really sounded like it had oh yeah it did too when she was shaking her head after the, the bath i could hear some sounded like it was wet in there so i do want to get that wax out as well if you can see there's quite a bit You don't want to go into the ear canal you're just kind of going on the outer edge of it and anything that's in there you want to leave it alone and then uh, use your ear solution to kind of loosen that up on its own and then you can use the q-tips again on the outer edge up on top there but you don't want to go into the ear canal because you could, do not want to cause any damage. So you want to stay on, like I said, the outer edge of it and just let them shake it out. There we go, baby. I know. There we go. There we got most of the bulk out now. Okay, so that's good for that one. And let's see if this one got any more out, just a little bit. I know. Okay, there. And you can see it's just about done there. So we'll leave her. I don't want to irritate her ears too much. So the rest will come out as she continues to shake her ears. And some clumps might come out, but as she... Um, shakes her head like she does and this uh, kind of scratches her ears that may come out and we'll alleviate that so there we go so there's Maya and uh, her number seven blade cut I hope you enjoyed the video and um, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and keep watching my videos and just let me know if there's anything specific you'd like to see. Um, thanks for taking the time to watch and uh, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.